News headlines this morning. Tippecanoe County election officials are concerned partisan politics could end the vote center program before the 2011 elections. The Colcon shows how two local party officials are crossing party lines to work together at keeping vote centers here in Tippecanoe County. Democrats and Republicans at the State House bicker over a bill that would extend vote centers but create no excuse mail absentee voting. Republican Tippecanoe County Clerk Linda Phillips says currently you must have one of 13 reasons to vote absentee by mail. All of the documented vote fraud in Indiana that has occurred has occurred in absentee voting by mail. So they're very reluctant to expand it. But Democratic co-president of the election board Heather Maddox says no excuse absentee voting would make casting a ballot easier. While the two women may disagree about absentee voting, they stand together on keeping vote centers in Tippecanoe County. Precincts allow voters to cast a ballot at only one place, while vote centers let voters go to any designated location. Both women say vote centers are more convenient for voters and cost less. The savings to Tippecanoe County is between fifty and $90,000 per election. I think right now with municipalities and government entities hurting as much as they are and trying to cut back, um, it, to, for us to go back to precincts right now, it would, it would be tough. Precinct voting takes more people, it takes more supplies, it takes more equipment. Precinct voting requires about 95 voting places, while vote centers call for about 20. It means equipment can be used more efficiently. In Jackson Township which would have, if we went back to precinct voting, I'd have to send them three machines, even though their count of their voters would really only th require them to have 2.1. Well, obviously, I can't send a tenth of a machine, so I've got to send, you know, an excess, an almost excess machine. A return to precincts could also mean the county would need to buy more voting machines to have enough equipment. So the women will travel to the state house to lobby for vote centers to continue. We both are, have the same goal, and so we're both working together to, to get it done. I'm hoping that the legislature will let common sense trump politics, but I'm not hopeful. They urge others to also contact their legislators about the issue. That was Nicole Kahn reporting. Now Maddox and Phillips leave today for the state house.